morning, everybody. How are you all going today? Oh, fun in the power room today, people. Okay, you'll notice I got that fuse pulled and the solar power turned off to this one here. Now this is my oldest Midnight Classic. It's done a lot of work. It's been running my house for many years. And I come out this morning and the alarm's going off and the, it looks like it's got a jammed fan. But I actually wanted to refurbish this one anyway. So I'm going to pull it off the wall and stick the Victron 150 back on the wall. Um, everything else is still going live. The house is all running. All right, this is just a solar circuit. And uh, the solar's off. The battery's disconnected. So it's only a, well, it's not a low volt solar circuit. It's a 98 volt DC solar circuit. Uh, to a 48 volt which equates to 52 volts because it's charging of course so um, but with the um, circuit breaker switched off for the solar and the fuse is pulled for the battery this unit's completely safe to pull off the wall H have a quick look at my shed not much has changed in here. There's my switches up there. Me inverters running the house. Um, I've still got the same battery bank. Um, I had to quickly unplug the monitor and get that out of the way so I've got more room in here. So I know this shed looks a lot bigger than it actually is. In the uh, videos, it's not a very big, this used to be a bird cage for those that you're just joining or uh, watching my videos for the first time. This used to be a bird cage to where I kept my rescued, uh, I had two rescued white cockatoos, which we eventually slowly released, um, let them out and let them eat on the grass and learn to fly and um eventually we just didn't shut the door only over night time to keep the cats out the feral cats and uh yeah one day they flew away and never come back again which was awesome awesome loved it uh, they did hang around well they didn't they did come back again they, they hung around for a couple of days but in the end they yeah, said their goodbyes and hopefully lived happily ever after. Anyway, back to this. Uh, so I'm going to pull this one off the wall and uh, see what parts I need to refurbish it. Um, and put the Victron 150 up on the wall. That's basically what I'm doing. I'll show you when it's done. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's been years since I've had to do any. Well, I've, I've changed inverters over only because I wanted these ones because they um, allowed me to do a few more things. Like if, if I eventually, when these batteries eventually die, I mean, they're only, what, five, six years old. Um, I'm not expecting them to die anytime soon. But these ones will charge at a higher voltage. So I should be able to switch to lithiums or whatever else is on the market when I'm looking for new batteries. Yeah, awesome. All right, I'll bring you back when the jobs are done. Oh, you know, there we go. I've just got to uh, get the iPad and uh, check it. And yes, I know there's uh, those of you that will ask. I guess that looks like a ground wire to me. Um, it goes down to a 
to the ground of course okay I had to move this one over just a smidgen to give me enough room to get in there and screw it but um, it's all done like it says we've got 56 volts and uh, this is a smart solar charge controller so it can be set up with my iPad and the uh, Bluetooth marvelous there's the specs to it it's a, a 150 volt at 85 amps hence the 150 85TR all right there's my solar video I've just got to uh, later on I'll have a closer look at that other one I, I've already got spare plans and everything for it but I, I just want to check it out while I've got it all apart and uh, if anything looks a bit strange then I'll just buy a new board all right there we go there's a solar video for you on my off-grid power system and uh My battery bank is looking mighty fine and of course it goes on forever there you just go same batteries from Silvio you need solar up in Perth everybody you need good batteries I can highly recommend these after all the years I've had them touch wood um, I've had no problems with them and they're still performing like brand new and mind you I don't hammer the uh, bejesus out of them which is why I got such a big bank um, a lot of people get a battery bank that's just big enough and then they hammer it and wonder why it dies if you get one that's twice as big as what you need then the lifespan of it will be increased immeasurably. All right, keep safe everybody. Bye for now.